You were overly, overly enthused about the butt bench. I thought that was so cute. Anytime <laughs> I can say the word butt, yeah. <laughs> I like it too. And you can sit and shave in, in convenience. All right. Let's talk a little bit about um, when you do get out of the shower or maybe the pool or when you even wash your car. If you're not using a towel for that plus some other things, then you're not using your towel to its maximum potential. Okay, everybody, Stephanie, what in the world are you talking about? Well, apparently you can get a fantastic workout with a little old thing called a towel. We're here with uh, Jeremy Scott, and uh, he's a personal trainer with Dave, who's also a trainer, and we're learning three things that we can do with something little like that to at least improve, you know, a little muscle. We may not end up looking like muscle dudes like you, but... No, definitely. Um, a lot of times we get people who are busy, they can't make it to the gym, or just life kind of gets in the way. So what we have found is something for people who have knee, hip, ankle issues, maybe they don't want to do a lot of high impact stuff and they can't get to the gym, they can use a towel in your living room. But let's say you don't have a towel, you could even substitute, let's say, a paper plate if you have carpet, both, slide one in the same. Okay, I have to see this to believe this. So one of you needs to kind of walk me through the process because I know you've got like at least three different things that we can do with it. For sure. The first one is uh, a mountain climber. Now a lot of people at home or in the gym tend to do these, like Dave will do them at first, kind of bouncing front to back where he's going to kind of have his back moving around. The thing with the towel is you're going to be able to limit that movement of that lumbar spine, so keep everything even. So he's just basically going to just slide one leg in at a oh, time, okay. keeping his back straight. So that's straight. the plate thing. Gotcha. Def definitely. So you can use a towel or a plate to do that, basically just working the lower abs there as you bring one knee in at a now, time. Now, is this less resistance than, say, like, because I've seen it before where people, like, kind of jump. They're, like, jumping back and forth with their feet. Well, the nice thing about this is it's still working your abs, but it's putting no pressure on that lumbar spine or his hips or his ankles or his knees. So basically it's going to help him be injury-free, but oh, give him okay. the same great work workout at the same time. And how many would you do? Or is it an amount of time? I would say time intervals is probably best. Maybe 15 to 30 seconds for a beginner, definitely. Okay. And oh. so you're kind of probably feeling that in your triceps too. Absolutely. <laughs> He's burning up in the top. I can tell because his <laughs> arms are like, whoa. All right. So then what else can we do with these? Um, this is called a seesaw. So like most people are used to that plank position where they're just one nice straight line from their head to their heel. What do you call those plank things? Because I know a lot of people are, are, are starting to do that. Um, basically just a plank. It's either like your is front it, plank, side planks, if you're on your left it, and your um, right side. Like, resi like it, was it, you know, what kind of, I feel like I've heard a term. Is uh, it core, functional or yeah, it's, core? It's like func like? functional core training is what we would call Which it. Which means we just use our own bodies. Basically, yeah, for stability, for okay. your abs to keep everything in line. No. <laughs> it works. <laughs> he, it, just, he just been, he's like, wait, if we're there going to talk all day long, i got to put my knees down. All right, get in the plank. So all Dave's going to do is basically just slide his body weight from front to back. And what this is doing is putting extra resistance on his trunk. And the one thing he's going to do is make sure his hips don't sag so it puts no oh, pressure okay. on his lower back. But when his hips are even, all he's doing is rocking front to back. So now he has stability, and every time he pushes back, it's going to pull on his abs, kind of keeping them tight and in place. Okay, Dave's clearly not a beginner. Dave, show me what a beginner would do in this situation. Just hang out right here. Okay, just not move. Okay. Just a static hold for probably, again, 15 to 30 seconds to start, maybe two to three sets just to get going. Okay. All right, so do you need a breather? Oh, I'm good. He's like, no, and if I was, when I did, I would not tell you on camera. <laughs> uh, the last movement is a little bit more advanced. It's what we call either a plank jack or a push jack. So if you're a beginner and you guys can't do push-ups, but you can do more than just a push-up hold like Dave's doing, okay. all he's going to do is kick his legs out laterally from left to right to kind of work his lower trunk while he's there. Now, for you guys at home who maybe are a little bit more advanced, we have a few of those people, if you can push up, basically Dave's going to do the same thing. As he pushes, his feet are going to come out each time. So basically it's like integrating oh your upper body gosh. and your trunk at the same time. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't do that at all. So for you guys at home, if you just want to do either your push-up hold or your plank hold, you can do it from there and just simply push your feet out. A little bit harder than it looks, but um, most of our level one guys in the camps um, are able to do it. And so this is a, like, so we're working a lot of the core. Can you work your legs at all using these towels? Or? Um, definitely, yeah. If Dave was to come up and if he wanted to do, let's say, like a lunge for you guys at home, uh -huh. um, real simple, all he needs to do is basically, just like you'd step in lunge, he's just basically going to step one foot back every single time and get that nice fluid motion. So if people don't want to do the impact of stepping front to back, they can actually just slide. So there really is no issues on any of your joints at all. So really, the, the plate slash towels is just the way to prevent injury and to just keep it a smoother motion so it's not as jarring on, on the joints. Yeah, it's, it's a good way to get a workout. I mean, it's, it kind of lets your mind do something different other than what you're doing. And then obviously, there's zero impact because basically, 
whether it's a paper plate or towel, you're just sliding. I imagine you do have clients that, that one of the things they struggle with is they get bored and they're like, yeah, I'm over this. And then that becomes kind of, uh, you know, it, it kind of railroads them. Yeah, we bit. try to keep it um, as sexy as we can, you know, right. for the most part. I mean, anything that kind of new that kind of makes you have to think about it and move your body like in, some, in a way that maybe you haven't done before, I think kind of keeps you interested because it's the next thing you have to challenge. Definitely, it definitely right? does. Well, um, in a nutshell, if people are interested in getting a hold of you, you do boot camps? Um, yeah, that's probably the most popular thing. We're in uh, North Scottsdale, so it's, um, we're there pretty much six days a week, and we try to be there all the times that people aren't working is when we're working, usually. Right, exactly. <laughs> uh, okay, well, thanks so much, guys, for being in. Thanks. Fantastic job. I think you need to switch and make him sh <laughs> show us that he knows how to do it just as well. <laughs> all right, well, still ahead, Janine. We have lots more fun, don't we? I like it, changing it up all the time, you know. Still ahead, we're going to help you beat the summer heat with the Yogurt Kingdom in Mesa. That's next. And thanks for watching Sonoran Living Live.